What is up, folks? Bristing Gaming back with another episode of 7 Days to Die Mods Weekly, the show will help you figure out what mods are good for you. We had a little break due to some family issues. Thank you, everybody, who your kind words, your support stuff, it means a lot. Uh, it was kind of tough to get through. We, we, we're we still trying to work our way through, so I really appreciate everything. I decided we were going to do, since Alpha 20 came out, we're going to jump in and we're going to do an episode on what I consider the five essential mods that everyone should have if you're playing normally. They don't break the game. They don't go too far into the extreme of stuff. But they're just, there are a lot of quality of life stuff that I think everybody's going to like. And our first mod is called the HUD Plus by Aurora Giggle Fairy, who used to be known as um, Riles. So it's the same HUD everybody's used to seeing. You know, it's got all the same stuff that was on there before. But it's just it's a cool little minimalist HUD that I think looks really neat. And, you know, it's server side, so everybody gets to benefit with that. It's I I like it a whole bunch just because, you know, it's kinda of, it's, you know, minimalist type HUD. It's just really nice to have. So that's why I'm showing it off. But with that, we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next mod. Alright, folks, so the next mod is the 72 slot backpack by Aurora Giggle Fairy. And I really like it that the formerly Riles changed it to Aurora Giggle Fairy. It's just, it's a funny name. I don't know why they changed it. Uh, my wife, Lunabug, thought it was absolutely hilarious when she saw it. She's been playing with, you know, uh, the former Riles mods a whole bunch. So, Aurora Giggle Fairy, thank you for bringing these mods to Alpha 20. We really appreciate it. And this backpack, the reason I like it and the reason I'm recommending it is... The 30 slot just vanilla backpack is way too small for my play style. I'm one of those ones that likes to loot a bunch of stuff all at once. I don't like making multiple trips. I don't like putting stuff out in a car, running back in and out, in and out, in and out as much as possible. But I also don't like having a 90 slot or even larger backpack because it's just, to me, that's just too breaking. The 60 slot can work depending upon how you play. There's some 60 slots out there, but the 72 for me is like the perfect sweet spot because once you fill everything out, you can actually have like different gear sets, you know, for different stuff and still have plenty of room for looting, selling, things like that. So that's why I'm recommending it. That's why it's here. It's one of my essential mods that I always play with. So with that, we're going to go ahead and move on to the next mod. All right, folks. So the next mod is the 12 slot crafting cube by Kane GB. And the reason I like this so much and the reason why it's one of my essentials is because I hate that four slot crafting queue when I'm out and about looting and I'm doing stuff. Yeah, you lose resources, you know, if you're scrapping bronze doorknobs or whatever, you lose resources, sure. But still it's a save it's a it's a space saver for the most part if you can scrap stuff down into the base material. I prefer to do it that way, and that's why I like having the 12 slot. But not only that, if I'm crafting a whole bunch of stuff, there's a lot of times where I'll I'll put a bunch of stuff in my inventory set a whole bunch of stuff to craft and then I go around and like fix up my base or I do stuff and I don't like having to constantly you know go through and reset because I've only got the four slots 12 might be a little too much I could probably do with like six or eight but the 12 slot crafting yeah the 12 slot crafting queue sorry my my throat kind of went weird there is a lot better for me overall that's why I like it so much Kane, thank you for bringing that to Alpha 20. I know it's going to take you a little while before you can get the Darkness Falls up. So we're looking forward to that, man. Whenever you can get it ready, you know we'll be playing it. So thank you. And with that, we're going to go ahead and move on to the next mod. All right, folks. So the next mod is the Increased Zombie Spawning by Jax Teller 718 And there's the 2, 3, and the 4 version that you can get. Well, two times 2, times 3, and times 4. I'm running the times 3 right now. And the reason I like it is because otherwise the game can feel sparse. Now, granted, they've changed cities and stuff like that, so it can feel a lot better. But out in the wild and stuff like that, when you're out and about doing things, driving around, it can still feel really sparse. So this is essential for me to help the game populate, to make it really feel like there's a lot more zombies here. And as you see, there are a lot more zombies here. I like that a lot. There's also a... Now, I do have God Mode going on, so that's why we've got stuff popping up, but that's why I like this mod so much, is it really makes the makes it feel, you know, populated. I hate 
you know, there not being any zombies and stuff around. It gets it gets annoying. But with that, we're going to go ahead and move on to the next mod. All right, folks. So the next mod is the wireless power box by Vidui42. Now, I've already got a power box here. As you see, it's right here in my hands. It's the wireless power box. Now, this mod is super cool because what it does is it eliminates all the annoying wires you would see hanging around. Now, I've got a bunch of turrets and stuff set up. I've got a generator down here running. I've got a couple turrets hooked up already. But what we're going to do is we're going to take, we're going to go from junction box to turret. Now, you see the turret's powered but there's no annoying wire in my way. Again, from junction box to turret, and junction box, junction box to turret. And then we can sit here and click on the turret and we can change the angle and we can shoot and do all kinds of stuff because it's working like it's supposed to because Vidui is awesome and brought this awesome mod out for us to get rid of these annoying hanging wires everywhere. And one other thing about the wires I hate so much is that they can cause stuff to like disappear or just weird visual stuff. I don't like them at all. And Vidui, thank you for bringing this in. It's, it's arguably a great man's greatest thing is bringing this awesome mod to us. Now, Vidui is a cool guy. I've hung out with Vidui for like the last year or so playing games and stuff. Really enjoyed. If you guys check out his videos if you don't know who he is just search vidui 42 he does a lot of really cool base builds a lot of really informative videos very helpful very friendly person check out their discord vidui is just super awesome so vidui thank you and with that folks we are done with my essential mods but now i'm going to bring you guys something really cool a mod that i really enjoy we'll be right back and show you something really neat all right, folks, so this next special mod is brought to you by Mage Josh, the awesome person who brought us the awesome, ultra enjoyable Purgatory Overhaul mod for Alpha 19, which is still available to be run and played. And if you guys haven't checked it out, I highly recommend you do. It is by far and away one of the best overhaul mods out there for Alpha 19. But this is the Jax Stacks and Spuds by Mage Josh. Now, what this does, and I know you can see it on my hotbar, is it brings back the blunderbuss but not only does it bring back the blunderbuss it also gives us a spud slug that we can use to pelt a zombie in the face with a potato which i think is hilarious but not only that it also increases the stack size of the dukes old cash diamonds a couple other things up to thirty thousand as opposed to twenty thousand and it also makes rifles able to use oops, wrong button 44 magnum ammo so if you've got a plethora of 44 magnum ammo you can use it in your rifles instead of having to use the 556 so it makes it a little bit easier to uh, uh, ammo management stuff like that so that's why I like it but also it brings back the blundy now I understand the people still like the the new blunderbuss or the new shotgun pipe shotgun because it uses shotgun ammo stuff like that well the reason why the blunderbuss was so good for a lot of people is because the ammo was dirt cheap to make Shotgun ammo is a little bit, mm, a little bit harder, stuff like that. So, and plus, you know, if you have like a line of blunderbuss, it's always fun to just shoot a bunch of blunderbuss, you know, one right after the other and clear out a bunch of people. But now we're going to spawn in a zombie and we're going to shoot him in the face with a potato. Hey, buddy. Let me shoot you in the face with a potato. <laughs> I love that so much. <laughs> Ugh, that is just so good. Ugh, that's so fun. We're going to reload, and we're going to shoot another zombie in the face with a potato. Who do we want to shoot? We're going to shoot a, uh, a Steve. What's up, Steve? You want to get shot in the face with a potato? <laughs> but also, so when you find this Blutter Bus ammo, you click on it, you click on recipes, you can actually <laughs> turn it into a potato. So look at that, now we have a potato to eat. Or you can just sit here and eat it normal. And then you get, you know, blunderbuss ammo and paper. So kinda neat, I like it, it's fun. It's a it's a goofy little mod that, you know, not an essential, but I do like having the blunderbuss back just because it's it was such a thing for Alpha 19, kind of the iconic item for Alpha 19, I think. So thank you guys for sticking around. I hope you had fun. Make sure you like, subscribe, drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Have fun, take it easy, and we'll see you next time.